Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take a problem from Indian Olympiad qualifier in mathematics from 2022. In this problem, we have A3 minus B3 minus AB equals to 25 and we want to find the maximum value of A squared plus BQ. Remember, A and B are positive integers. Let's see how we are going to solve this now. For the sake of completeness, let's review the original problem first. This is problem 6 of this Indian Olympiad qualifier in mathematics from 2022. The problem asks let a and b are positive integers satisfying a cube minus b cube minus ab equals to 25 and we want to find the largest possible value of a squared plus b cube. Now let's deep dive into the solution. Let's start with the original equation again. a cube minus b cube minus ab is 25. Moving ab to the other side leads to a cube minus b cube is 25 plus ab. Since a and b are positive integers, ab is going to be a positive integer number too. So 25 plus ab is going to be positive, which means a cube is greater than b cube or a is greater than b. I'm going to use a equals to b plus k here. k is a positive value or a positive integer. Now I'm going to replace a with this b plus k and I will take it from there. Replacing a with b plus k, I'm going to start to simplify everything that I have here. I will end up with b to the power of 3 plus k to the power of 3 plus 3 times b squared times k plus 3 times b times k squared minus b cubed equals to 25 plus b squared plus k times b. Now let's remove b cubed from both sides, move everything to the left hand side except for 25 and then factor out common terms. At the end I will have b squared times 3k minus 1 plus 3k squared minus k times b plus k cubed equals to 25. I guess you are asking what's the reason that we are doing these simplifications. At the end, instead of having A and B, now we have B and K. Both of them are unknown. So what was the difference? The answer is something that I'm going to tell you now. On the left hand side, I have B squared times 3K minus 1 b is a positive number so b squared is okay is a positive number k is an integer 3k minus 1 is going to be positive so the first term is positive now let's move to the second term i have k squared times 3 minus k since k is an integer and a positive one this value is positive b is also positive so at the end the second term is a positive value too. And then I will have k cube. So k is a positive integer, k cube is going to be a positive integer. So the left hand side, all these terms are positive. You add them together and the result is 25. So I can say that k cube is less than 25. So k is going to be less than 3. Are we going to have the equality here? Since k is at least 1 and b is a positive value, so I guess we are not going to have the equality here. And at the end, it doesn't matter since k equals to 3 is going to lead us to 27, which is greater than 25. So let's start with k equals to 1. If I have 1 for k, I'm going to have b to the power of 2 times 2 plus 2b plus 1 equals to 25. This is a quadratic equation and you can solve it simply. You're going to end up with 3 and negative 4 for b. And we know that b is a positive integer, so negative 4 is invalid. But b equals to 3 is valid. If b is 3, 
then a is going to be 4. Now let's move on and use k equals to 2. For k equals to 2, I'm going to end up with a new quadratic equation. 5b squared plus 10b plus 8 equals to 25. But you are not going to find an integer solution for this. So at the end, we only have one set of values. a equals to 4 and b equals to 3. Now we need to find the maximum of a squared plus pq. Since we only have one set, it's going to be 4 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 3, which is 43, and we are done. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions around the globe, please let me know. Please also subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.